Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be updated whenever we upload a new video. It's Max from the Max Creation TV. In today's video, we want to look at the other five ways, five ways of how to look for a job, especially for those people that are outside Qatar or those people are outside Qatar right now. You know, it's getting a little bit very tough every single day where our visas are not coming out in time uh, because of maybe uh, the Qatar visa section, say, uh, Qatar visa uh, center, there's some things that may, technicalities that we may not understand. But let us try to look at other options. If you are outside Qatar, how can you try to look up a job? That is what we want to see. By the way, if it's your first time to come across of this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button one first of all something that we need to discuss is that one of the one ways you can get a job outside Qatar in case for, for example you are living outside Qatar and you wish to have a, a, something to do in Qatar let's say for example you want to be a cleaner you want to be a security guard uh, any of the job that you think you can do one of the other ways is what we call recommendations I think it is working out well Whereby, if you have a friend that is in Qatar right now, he can recommend you to his or her company. Because what is happening now, some companies or to some companies may ask its employees that we need such kind of person and person to work in this position. Can you recommend any of those person that you have? Definitely, it will be you. If, for example, I'm working as a security guard and this company wakes up to recommend someone to recruit from outside, I'll be your recommender. What does it mean to be a recommender? It is not something very easy. When you, you are a recommender, when you are a recommender or recommending someone, that means all whatever will happen or whatever may happen in case that person tends to misbehave in one way or the other, you become a rival. So you become, you become the culprit. What am I trying to mean? Sometimes you find it, you find, you find it that when the companies announce such kind of opportunities, they will ask a person to recommend a person from outside. So what does it mean? If I recommend you to come and work in this company, it means that whatever you tend to do or whatever you have to do in that company, I'll be answerable. But to some extent, where a peop where people have got off mad is that you recommend someone to come to the job. After recommending that person, that person comes and he does not want to do the job. And yet, when I'm recommending you in a company, I need to sign up what we call a document. I need to sign up an agreement that in case this person does not do what is agreed upon, you are reliable. In case this person does not do A, B, C, D, in case this person resigns before even finishing the contract, you'll have to pay up the recruitment fee, you'll have to pay up even the, the, the ticket money and his ticket return back to the country. So you find in those scenario, most people have tended not to recommend people from coming from outside. Because you never know the person you're recommending. Especially if you're going to recommend someone who is online, it becomes a little bit very tricky because I do not know you well. I'll recommend you, yes, right. You may want the job. You find yourself coming inside the country, but again, you start misbehaving. Remember, this company does not, the, the company that hired you or the company that told you to, the company that trusted you to recommend that person, it does not want to listen, does not want to make losses. So meaning that you, the recommender, you are going to face the other charges. All the charges, the visa charges and the recommend charges will be borne to you and even the repatriation charges will be you to bear the cost to repatriate back that person to where he got you got or where that person was recruited from so sometimes that has been a very big challenge in one way or the other uh, in my in my situation i'm not going to lie to you i'm going to be open because i need to share this one and one to you yes i recommended someone and though that was the last the, the 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 last the last part of it all the last part of it all and that's where the trouble came from the person reached here after working for six months he got friends but remember he had signed an agreement he had signed a contract of two years he got friends from out he phoned 
old school boys and they did that it uh, started uh, grouping up and he did not go to duty he absconded duty all the time would say would say i didn't know that even he was trying to plan something ahead something to run away from the company he absconded he had overstays and getting out of myself out of the trap it was a little bit very hard for me that was the experience i got so uh, one way to get a job here if you're outside Qatar is someone recommending you to a company that is working too where a person can recommend you in that moment of time but remember a person is going to recommend you definitely he will pay up you pay up whatever it has to see then something still also we look at number two you look at what you call agents we look at manpower agents we look at um, uh, labor recruiting agencies wherever in your country try to use those agencies try to sp try to to try to look at those agents there are some agents that are good and there are some agents are bad so if you are planning to come if you are really prepared your mind that you are planning to come to work or you are planning or you're looking something to work in one way or the other despite of you having whatever you you are ready to accept you prepared your mind to accept whatever you're going to do or something that you're going to do it to do in these gulf countries is look at what you call the recruitment agencies you know, most of the visas, for example, in the Gulf countries, I will give an example of Qatar. Most of these contracts are given to recruitment agencies. You find that the owner of the visa, let's say, for example, the citizen of the country, gives a particular recruitment agency a contract or a deal to recruit people. So you find that most of these recruitment agencies, they will, have, they will be given that role to recruit people from out, not as an individual. So you find most of the most of the time that you find it may be very hard to get a job anyway or to come in this country in that particular role unless you use what we call a recruitment agency. Yes, we do understand recruitment agencies, they will need what we call a small commission of that side and some get to exactly the amount and get to charge a lot of money. But to some extent, that could be the one option for you to come very fast. That means if you are really prepared and you are prepared to move out of it, that means that you need to have what we call that amount of money that is being prepared for you at that time. Then still something that we need to understand or something definitely. Another thing that you need definitely to know is that we look at what we call online job applications. Let us look at those online job applications. There are those sites where you can apply. Try them out. These sites, we can try them out. Some of these websites or some of these job recruitment sites are a, a league. They're genuine. They're legit genuine. For example, for example, let us try to look at people who are on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has job postings. But remember, when you are going to these sites, for example, if you are outside Qatar or you are outside the Gulf countries, try to look at what you call the job requirements. Look at those required job requirements. And to some jobs, they may specify and say, we are looking for people who are in the country or we are looking at people who are outside the country or we are looking at a particular nationality. So meaning that you're the person who is looking for a job or the person who is lo looking to apply for that particular position. You need to first go through the requirements. Look at its specification and uh, requirements. Look at its requirement at that time. Does it require a person from outside Qatar or outside the Gulf country? Or does it even require a person living to that living within the country then you can apply genuinely in one way or the other then still something that we are for example i'll give you some of those sites we look at link it we have another one is called indeed.com uh, indeed.com they have particular postings they may be security guards they may be cleaners they may be housekeepers they may be technicians try out those roles try out those roles for people who are living in Qatar, this is what we call also Qatar living some of these sites they will definitely give you that kind of opportunity to try out but remember before even you start to try out when we are talking about trying out look at the cv i keep on telling people your cv is going to sell you out it is what going to, is what's going to 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 prove out to the recruiter that you are eligible 
Don't make a lousy CV. Don't write like you're writing a, a love letter to someone. This is a recruiter. This is an employer who is going to inject in his visa, his air ticket to you, who is going to, to entrust you with the role. So meaning that, make that CV that is going to sell you out as you are posting it out. Sell your skill. Sell yourself out to this recruiter. Then still also, uh, uh, we, 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 look at, uh, we, we look at something like we were agents. We talked about agents. Remember, these agents need what we call, need what we call commission. So use them up. We can have referrals from friends. You can ask Max, I'm looking for a cleaning job. Can you, can you recommend me any company such that I can go to its website and apply? Yes, when you go to this company website, no, most of the time, go to what we call a careers page. When you look at under the careers page, they will tell you what to do. Don't fail to try out. It's all about trying every single moment of day. Try out every single day. Keep on trying. You never know what God has on his side. What the Almighty has on his side. That is the better way we get to have to get to maneuver. In one more side, we get to maneuver from here to here to here to here to here, and then we get off. That is what normally happens. Hope I've tried to share up something for you and something uh, for someone who dropped in that comment section. Yes, I know right now for the visa uh, visa section is so is a little bit very hard. There are some people who got offer letters but still not got the visa. I know those things do happen, but you need to be a little bit patient. And apart from being patient, also you also need to be in touch with that company that uh, that gave you the offer letter. Keep on reminding them, uh, keep them reminding, keep them reminding them every day, and keep them alerting them that you are interested in the role or you can still you are still available for the role you never know remember some of these visas are the visa how they tend to return to allocate these visas they allocate them on what we call quotas depending on the need of that company and depending on a particular name nationality you may find yourself you are in you are a ugandan and per, per the recruitment at that time they are not willing to give out visas for ugandans they are giving out Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. This means from the next